This is 1980 Half Dome Drive. We just did an inspection on this property today. We have serial scape landscaping. A couple trees, pretty shrubs, some flowers, paver driveway. Nice wide entryway, tile floors. Right in the coat closet. You have some extra flooring, extra wood. We have dual zone thermostats, one downstairs, one upstairs. In the bathroom, there's pretty espresso cabinets, tile, and a walk-in shower. It looks like that is also all tiled. It is. Then this is the only downstairs bedroom. Coming into the living room, we have what we thought was engineered wood flooring and In the dining room kitchen area, you have all the 17 by 17 tile floors. Lots of bright light. It's kind of hard to see right now. Let me get over here. You can see the espresso color cabinets, the beautiful stainless steel appliances. And then you have your salt and pepper granite. Here we have your two-car garage. That's a clean out for the sewer. And then we go ahead and take a look in the backyard. Some drawings on the ground that's by the landscaper try to give you an idea. I have a tree over there with some rock. That right there would be for a drain pipe. And this is the idea of where you would have the paver patio. And then right there a bush. Another tree. Some DG. DG is kind of like a, a soft sand. Um, it's called decomposed granite. You have another, I think the P stands for bush, and then another tree. And then right along here, along the drainage area, would be a little path of rock. And then the rock just continues out, and you'd have all DG. And then, it's kind of hard to see, but these are actually for little shrubs around the AC condenser, so that, ah, oh, it's not the prettiest thing to look at all day. Shrubs are a lot more aesthetically nice. As you can see, we've got a beautiful, 
beautiful cloud day. Over here you have your water heater. This is the timer for the recirculating pump. And up here is your recirculating pump. Those do go out every few years. Not to be confused with your expansion tank. This is a drain that drains all the way to the front of the house. Goes through the wall there. That is your gas shut off. And then I think there you go, you can see the water shut off. Over here we have the sprinkler timer. And that's turned on, however, I was told that the water outside is turned off. That's because we're expecting a freeze at any moment. All of the appliances were tested and appeared to work, except for the dishwasher. They had already tested that. Hopefully, Wei has told you um, all this wonderful carpet and the wood. It is no longer an option with the newer homes that they're going to be doing after this year. So, perfect timing. Here's your laundry room, the espresso cabinets, tile countertops. That's a drain pan in case the washing machine ever overflows that drains to outside. This is a gas line for the dryer. And Below this cabinet, they actually have it plumbed in case somebody wants to put a sink in here in the future. Hello? I think I was just locked in. This is the first bedroom. It goes into a Jack and Jill bathroom. This is the middle bedroom. It's always the one that only has one window. It will probably always have nice views because there will be a house there. Um, but it'll be out of the way. In this hall closet is the access to the furnace if it ever needs to be repaired. And then we come into the master bedroom. You actually have a really nice sized master bedroom. Up on each ceiling in each room, it's already been set up for electrical, but there are no light fixtures. Nice silent fan. And this is the master bath. More beautiful views. And then walk-in closet. And this didn't go over earlier, but 
outside there is telephone and cable and this is one of the other boxes to access all of it you just take off the screws and there's a bunch of wires behind that And that was it. That's 1980 half dome drive.